Sister Wives' latest news, Cody Brown's original shysty Coyote Pass plan. What is Maddie Brown's shocking net worth? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister Wives Cody Brown's original shasty Coyote Pass plan? Did Cody Brown have sinister motives when he bought the Coyote Pass property? Sister Wives fans thought the family's big move to Arizona was ridiculous from the start. But now, some Redditors think they're onto the family patriarch and his hidden agenda. What exactly was going on in Cody's mind? See what other Sister Wives fans had to say online. Redditors discuss Cody Brown's hidden agenda for Coyote Pass. So why didn't Cody Brown pay off Coyote Pass? When the family purchased the property, they agreed to pay it all off in a certain time period. So what exactly happened? One Reddit user thinks they have the situation figured out. This is why Coyote Pass wasn't being paid off. The Redditor recently titled their post before acknowledging they had a conspiracy theory about the family. Ong it just clicked why he was so insisted that he wouldn't pay Coyote Pass. Oki okay had one lot for himself to build a private house for himself when they first started diving the lots between three of them. He was setting it up to guarantee that at least he had three plots, his man cave one. Robin's that was big enough to split into two summon three. Christine giving them the third plot was a bonus, they didn't have to split it, he just needed Maris and Janelle's. The user went on to say that he didn't fight Christine over the housing situation because the lot was more valuable to him without a house on it. The user also alleges that Cody knew Mary wouldn't want to build on the lot, so they could also convince her to give up her property someday. According to this Reddit user, Cody Brown never paid off the Coyote Pass property because he wanted to pay it off all at once after he squeezed the other wives out of their properties. Thanks for at Cozimon Gaming on Moiti to spark the idea, the Redditor concluded. Other Reddit users add their voices to the conversation Sister Wives fans always have a wide variety of opinions online. But many other Redditors really seem to agree with the OP on this one. It wouldn't surprise me if you are exactly right, another Reddit user added. In addition to driving the others off the property by dragging their feet and wearing them out, they probably also needed time to siphon off family money by buying jewelry, wall art, collectibles, guns, other somewhat valuable personal property items or not. Make it look like there's no money to develop the land while hiding money slash assets. It also ties into his insistence upon moving from LV to Flagstaff, another chimed in. He was literally salivating over the equity built into those LV homes. He couldn't stand that he wasn't partial owner of Christine and Janelle's, so he masterminded it so that the equity was forced back under his control through the purchase of the land and his home. Remember that Janelle had a mini row with Robin over purchasing it and Robin tattled to Cody about it. What do you think about the situation? Do you agree with the points that Reddit users made here? Share your own thoughts in the comments. Why did Cody Brown avoid paying off the Coyote Pass property for so long? Sister Wives What is Maddie Brown's shocking net worth? Sister Wives star Maddie Brown Brush has a lot of ways to make money. She's been utilizing her TV fame, unlike her other siblings who stepped away from the limelight. There are speculations that she earns more than her father, Cody, who's reportedly selling firearm accessories behind cameras. Sister Wives What is Maddie Brown's job today? Maddie is presently a diamond status ambassador for the pink drink company she and her mother promote. It's the highest rank in the company, which also means that she makes the biggest earnings. Being a reality TV personality earned her multiple online promotions as well. The Sister Wives star currently resides in North Carolina with her family. She has also let some of her siblings live in her house for school and summer vacation. Maddie has three kids, and one of them has a condition called FACO syndrome, a rare genetic disorder that affects the child's bone formation. She also uses social media platforms to spread awareness about the disorder. 
Maddie's net worth in 2023. According to reports, Maddie Brownbrush's net worth is estimated to be $200,000 to $400,000 as of 2023. She has almost the same as Christine, Mary, and Janelle's $40,000 net worth. It just shows how hardworking the fourth brown child is. She also has the support of her husband, Caleb Brush, who presently works as an apprentice for an elevator mechanic. During a Kanda in January, he revealed that he only had less than a year left before becoming a certified mechanic. Sister Wives, Maddie Brown's latest project inspires fans. Maddie is getting a lot of positive feedback from her latest social media project. She has been uploading daily videos with her family and talking about the things she's thankful for. She also named her segment Gratitude Live, and a lot of fans are supporting it. I love this practice, one fan said. Y'all keeping it real, I love it, another person added. I'm really enjoying these. Thank y'all for doing M, one commenter said. Cody previously revealed in season 18 that his daughter, Maddie Brown Brush, hasn't talked to him since his split with Janelle. However, the 54-year-old mother revealed that her daughter doesn't like her dad's behavior lately, and she doesn't know what to do with him. She has to consider her children. She has to consider the stability of what they see or perceive as a grandfather, the former second wife added. Thanks for watching these videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.